more hotter than you expected it to be. Followed by a beautiful body shot. Then he continues the attack. But that right uppercut was a devastating shot. Come on, get in the fighting stance. You're a southpaw, correct? Stay right there. Here is the natural situation, right? Stay high, I'm shorter than you. Not as tall as you. Uh, so the situation, how do I get you? You can just extend your arm and that's it, right? So what do you need to be afraid of? Uh, th my move outside of uh, the front foot with this hand. You have it under control still. So what I'm doing, see you step out. You can step out too. And this punch. You can do it one, two, and look, uh, my foot is on my, is on my toes, it's close to you. So your front arm still let what still let me won't do anything here and here. The straight right can also be dangerous for me. So I'm doing this little sneaky punch. Look. See what we've got. I I did not slip actually. I, I started to throw the punch. See, once my front foot reached your uh, front foot, that means that my front hand was, will reach you, even more with my rear hand. If it's a straight punch, it's a bit dangerous for me. You need to hide it better. But this punch, uh, okay, there's no bending, no heel movement really. There is another punch goes goes over the butt behind myself. It's another move, but you can see it a little. And this. And this is another punch, a new punch. I stay here, and it goes like this. It's like a swimming stroke. Yeah, kind of stroke. Yes, but did not, but do not lower your arm. This is a trick. It's like you're trying to hit a dude behind you with your elbow. Yes, but be, be, without the butt movement, just like a stroke and swimming. Really, here it goes between the arms, between your gloves. Stand in the orthodox stance. I'm you now. Do you see how long is it? So I'm not moving my hip in the first place, but I do the arm movement. My weight is on the front foot. And look, I do it like this. If I do it like this, I'll lose the balance. Look how quick this move is. Here's like a warm up, warm up, warm up exercise but without extending my elbow until the middle of the, of the punch. And this punch goes after the shoulder, one halfway. I'm rotating my heel and the hip. And thereby my, first, my fist is unbending afterwards. Due to my shoulder move, my head slips off to the side. So I'm in fact, get back to the southpaw. So I'm in fact, I'm not risking really. I'm starting to throw not with my torso, not with my foot. I am start to throw with my arm. And here, you see, it goes between your gloves. Even if you manage to bend back a little, see what's going to happen? I'll keep it going. I'll get you anyway, either to the chest or maybe even to the liver. You dodged, but I still got you. And from here, I can jump and do something else. Got it? Yes. So here's the move. And you, as a lefty, as a southpaw, you can do it the same way. Look, it's a short move, circle move, like an elbow punch. Yes, but look how I get my elbow up. Yes, 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 get it up here. And it will go. Right, 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 yes. No, you, you've moved your, you, do, you did it with your back. You, you do the move. Look how I stand. Yes, yes, right. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It's surely scary. It's a dangerous punch. But the rotation is going behind you. Of course, the shoulder. Why foot moves afterwards? Because if you will do it with your heel and a hip from the start, you'll get open. And you're telegraphing it, you're going forward. And here you already did the move. 
your shoulder, your fist is in line with your toe, with your heel, and due to the rotation, the fist is in the same place as if I would throw the straight punch. But uh, the position is a bit different. And here goes here goes my my heel, my hip. What did I do? I, I first delivered it to the position, and then I pushed my heel, pushed myself with my heel, rotated my hip, and got out of the line of fire. Got it? Yes. Look how I punch. It's a very uh, surprising move. Also, a lot of people. will will charge at you at this point and here goes it here it got between the hands so you can block it by a simple block go ahead throw it now you wanted to do it with your torso stay right and punch with the hand only here you go that's it, got it? Look. Look how your body moved back out of line of fire. And now rotate the hill. Do not get low, stand up. Here, see where you can move it at maximum. No need to bend, just stay straight. Drop the fist, see, it's at the border of your base. And understood? Yes, yes, that's the main move. It's a punch too, so here, stay straight. Stand up higher, why are you bending? Do not telegraph. Here you go, it's like, really like a stroke in swimming. Got it? And here you got it. You clench your fist and here are your knuckles coming. It's a very hard landing punch. This punch is banned in certain regions of our country. Okay, okay just kidding. That's it, use it. Thanks a lot. Welcome. It's an interesting punch. It is no, it's just no bending, it's standing straight. It's very much like a straight punch, straight punch, but without extending your elbow. It goes by the shortest trajectory, and I get away with it, and I get away from the line of fire.